this government, this prime minister, is the most dangerous that Jamaica has ever had. He is committed to making Jamaica a totalitarian state through the back door, a police state through the back door. You notice his entire plan for crime is always states of emergencies. Who does that impact? The poor people, them. The people, them, who they, they make the suffer and turn them into vagabonds. They then go down there and terrorize those people. When the real problem is at the top. It is those who are evil for money, those who are cover for, for big criminals, those who are allow the guns and ammunition into the country, and them we need for stop. Viewers and subscribers, Philip Paul will be a mother and alleged murderer. Leoda Bradshaw is allegedly pregnant people. On a year it years so of first. On a year what me say? Philip Powell, baby mother, and alleged murderer is now allegedly pregnant for some army police officers. Judge. People, we have a lot to come up plus more, so you definitely don't want to miss none of the video. Bless up to my viewers and my subscribers. Them, they hope everybody having a blessed and a wonderful evening. Now, my viewers and my subscribers, remember, in everything I do, always put God first in every and uh, any situation. Just always remember to call upon God. Always remember to pray because a prayer day keep the devil away. No, my viewers and my subscribers, there is a big story out there right now that they are hiding from us. But I will come back and share it with you guys. We we'll soon come back. We we'll run the intro and come back. So welcome back to my viewers and my subscribers. Them, big up to all of my viewers. Big up to all of my subscribers. Them. We continually support the channel and I help the channel to grow. Now, remember to leave a like on this video. Remember to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you is a new viewer's first time on my channel, then please subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification bell. So whenever we drop new content, you will be first to be notified. Share the content with a friend, a family, a loved one. Share it on your social media platform. You understand me? I say spread the word, spread the message. Let them know. Say subscribe to the Dance Hall Royalty Review TV. All right, people. Now, my viewers and my subscribers, what a passa passa. Philip Paul Well, baby mother, Leoda Bradshaw, allegedly pregnant for some army police officer. Judge, I was really a gun. People, we're going to talk about that story. But make we look into this story right here where the Jamaican Labour Party, Juliet Wallines and her husband allegedly forced Miss Valerie Curtis to resign because this woman no longer believe in them corruption and believe to participate in them corruption. And you know what you think already, if you're not willing to work with them and feed them system, how them are work, then they are going to make you resign. They are going to force you to resign. So this woman now, Val Curtis, the clerk of the court for parliament, she in her job, how much years now, whole heap of years from what we kill Philip. You understand, long before no found one. And they force this woman to resign because they want this woman to take blame for something that she did not do. Now, the reason why that happened is that Juliet Wallin is not on the table. They report them from, you know, the, um, the interview the commissioner and all of them people. Eh? So, they want to throw the blame upon this woman and say, she not on the table they report them, she not sending the report them. So this woman not taking the blame. So you know what thing go with the Jamaican Labour Party already. If you're not taking the blame for them, then they're going to set you free. They're going to make you resign. They're going to force you to resign. So that is what they did with this woman. Now people, check out this video right now. Remember, leave a like on this video. Alright? Because we're not stop exposing them now. Alright, we soon come.
Hmm? Resign. But dear Mrs. Juliet Holiness, do you believe that Mrs. Valerie was the only person who was supposed to be resigning? No, no, no. Jamaica, wouldn't you agree that the Prime Minister's wife should be resigning as well? So I wrote this under a post and somebody asked me, why? Our Mrs. Holiness, the why she need to resign. I'm like, what? I'm like, what? So, Mrs. Holiness, I know that you're a very educated woman. I've said this before. Admit it. Your husband has said it too. But to avoid any appearance of favoritism, nepotism, or conflicts of interest, ma'am. <laughs> And in upholding the principles and the policies of fairness, impartiality, ma'am, and integrity in governance, you need to resign. Some are going to argue that we are okay with you as a parliamentarian. But I am going to tell that some that you are not just any parliamentarian, you are the Prime Minister's wife. Yeah, man, you are the Prime Minister's wife. And this dual role that you play is what causes the conflict of interest. This, this two role. So Una love to talk about dual citizenship, dual citizenship in a parliament. This is the same situation as having dual citizenship. She has a dual role. She's playing two roles. And this two role undermines her separation of power. Can she control her separation of power? without compromising the integrity of both her roles so a part of her role is to remain loyal to her husband and a part of her role is to is to uphold integrity fairness and impartiality in the house of parliament while conducting her role now what i have observed mrs holiness is that since Mr. Golden came out and spoke about your conflict of interest in your role, right? You, you start act like you give the PNP them a chance to talk. You start act like you have been neutral with the two sides. But truth be told, Mr. Holiness is your husband. And we know that you cannot control your personal bias. It is because of this reason why you are so nervous while speaking. You are nervous while speaking. I mean, I read your body language, you know, and I'm not a body language expert. Watch you know. It's sad. You are trembling in your voice. Your body language is us communicating signs of somebody who is not um, sure about what they're saying. Yes, son. I'm going to let you talk soon. Someone who is not sure about what they're saying. You don't believe in what you're saying. And we can't believe it either. That means a trouble in a jan shop. Now, this is bigger than what us, the average man, believe in, which side we believe in. This not have nothing to do with party alignment, as I've continuously said. This not have nothing to do with your JLP or PNP. Because her role leads to the doubts that she's trying to stop Miss, Miss Lisa Hannah from highlighting. But the doubts that you're stopping Miss Lisa Hannah from highlighting are already in the minds of people. People already are sick. And I said, but wait, is Mrs. Juliet Holiness really impartial? Is she really fair in these parliamentary proceedings? And Mrs. Holiness, if you're concerned about the erosion or the mashing up of the public's trust in the democratic process, just no say mash up. It don't erode and yam out and gone. It mash right up. We already seen and drawing these conclusions, which in we should have trust in the House of Parliament. We shouldn't be looking and drawing conclusions. Your actions should be one displayed by an indi independent individual. And because you're not an independent individual, you cannot display these actions. You need to resign, and Jamaica should call for you to resign. This is not a labor right thing. This is not a PNP thing. These are from the 71% of people who never vote. 
We are looking, we are seeing. We are your loyalties lie. And if we are wrong, resign. And in you resigning from the Speaker of your house, you are clearing up our understandings of corruption. You are clearing up our understandings of your impartiality. Our partiality, not. Eh? Of your fairness. That is what resigning does. It communicates to us. That you people still are human beings and you're, you're, not, you're not ignorant, you're not arrogant and you still have the Jamaicans, Jamaican people's best interests at heart. Have to be good. Tell them. You have, you have to be good. Yes, you have to be good. And in being good means that you need to resign. Tell her. You need to resign. You need to resign. Yes. And believe you Say that one more time. Behave yourself. Okay, Papa. So there you have it, Mr. and Mrs. Holiness, and to all the powers that be from me and my son. He said it best, behave yourself. Yes, he said it best, behave yourself and resign for the Jamaican people. Give the Jamaican people a break and just resign your post as a speaker of the house because Jamaican are very, very very much upset both jlp pnp uic the regular member of john public we no vote for nobody everybody upset with you so the best thing you can do is just resign and we are not gonna stop calling on you mrs holiness to resign step aside worse that you're under investigation for fraud and your husband as well under investigation for fraud. Why don't you resign, man? You resign, Miss Holiness, from the speak of the house. Give the people them a break because the people them are very, very much upset with you. Now, Miss Valerie Curtis, I feel just resign just like that. Mighty God with dirt upon her name. That's the worst part of it, you know, because you're right. This dirty letter about the woman put dirt on the woman's name, and no, bad, no matter how. They might tell us a rechuck that letter. You did not rechuck the letter from this woman's name. Madam Speaker, I, I hear what the leader of government business is saying, but this matter is now a public matter. It has it occurred largely because of the email that was sent to all of us. And 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 with the letter. And Madam Speaker, I know that there might be discussions taking place, but I don't think the public would feel satisfied of your coming today, going through the process without saying something. We were really expecting that the letter would have been withdrawn today, Madam Speaker, and, and that is really our position. Um, so, 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 Madam Speaker, I am hoping that you will say something on the matter before we proceed, especially in light of our call for the withdrawal of that letter. Thank you, members. I note your request as it relates to further steps to be had with the Auditor General and on the matter of the clerk. I advise you, both from myself and the clerk, that we are in dialogue and wish to say nothing else at this time so on a year for herself she says she and the clerk are both in dialogue private private talk after she publicly embarrassed this woman and they know the private talk was for her to bully this woman and force her to resign her post i don't know tell me that these people are not wicked people them who not gonna look for me and tell me that these people are not wicked people. You see, some of them, some of them are just like them too, you know. Some of them are just like them. This woman is a big woman, but sitting in a parliament before she. And she now come with her big old bully self. And bully this woman to resign. That is wickedness. That is what you called 
wickedness and then you say these people are for poor people they ain't for poor people and someone need to get up off on the backside and start talking truth instead of sit down in lies someone is surrounding yourself with so much lies you know you know confused you don't even know the truth from lies these people kin teeth and your wife them no them not real they are not for the jamaican people they sold us out with that Samoa deal, we are we not not we not right for ourselves again. You understand me? I say later on from now, any little thing wa, that where the UN them have to test, just like how them go to Africa and go test it. And the people them like them a guinea pig. Later on from now, then soon come come start test everything. And we like a guinea pig. Them thing they in the Samoa deal as well. You little children, they're gonna use them for experiment and all of them because something that but enough people. Because them just love this bro God. They don't believe in what is coming towards them. But God have a plan for you. Know. They hear me tell you. Know. God have a plan for all of you. Know. We are trying to destroy people. Them. You know, are wicked. At the end of time. You know, you don't know, see what they got in America. People you know, open their eyes and see what they got in America right now. You know, see everybody I get exposed to this demonic business. You don't know, see. Uno thinks that this brother are the far from it. Him not the far because of it. Give them their riches. Them, they, them just sign be a dirty deal with the devil. And get pure money and get rich fast, 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 fast. And over rich ton billionaire in a known time because of what they have done. Look what they have done to the, the children of America. I see them thing. Them are do to the children of Jamaica. Sell it to the devil from her. So guess what? We are not a soul when you grow up. Most of the little youth, them, we are entertainment, entertain and something they run and then something they in America, basketball player. They don't have any soul because they sold out to the devil. So, people, when you know, open up on eyes, someone who just watch Jamaican news every day, on the natural scroll through internet and watch foreign news, you know, go point, go point, on the natural try to watch foreign news, you know, just sit down every day and watch Jamaican news because on the feast of Jamaican news or going to something. I don't have to go on the internet go check out for one one for yourself. Because the media won't give you nothing. And when, the, when we talk, when I say we chat too much, I we don't know nothing. But when you reach on the doorstep, when you say, Lord, the vlogger them could not have to say nothing to we. At them time, they don't run to run the come to we because they don't want to say something to you. But some of you go to you. Some of you go to you. That's why I always say big up to my loyal viewers and my loyal subscribers them. We understand the assignment where they go on. They understand me. I say we have knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Pick up on yourself. And now, people, make we jump over for another story. Leo the Bracha, Philip Palwell, baby mother, that allegedly took the life of Tashana Pattison and Saraya Palwell, are now allegedly. Pregnant, and I am saying allegedly because it not come out big in the public yet. So me go go and use the allegedly in the meantime. And for right now, people, she is allegedly pregnant for a honey goat police officer. Yeah, you only hear it right on hear it over here. So first, big up Shelly and Corinne. You understand? On hear it and this channel before you hear it but any other channel so members say when you hear it out there big when you can come back and say boy that's a reality a writer so we hear it first you know and the story real so people it is alleged that leo da bradshaw the baby mother of politician politician mp philip powell are now Pregnant, allegedly. She have a baby bump. Her baby bump. Take time to grow. And the baby is for a police officer, allegedly, that cannot keep his thing in his pants. But I'm not surprised because be a, be a pair of them thing are going in the prison them each and every year. But because this woman famous, or she's a big woman, she's a um, she's the baby mother of a politician. That is why it came public. Trust me, people. Because, people, women behind bars get pregnant daily. 
we just not hear about it. We, the citizens of Jamaica, just do not hear about it. But if you don't watch a movie, I the same thing will happen in a movie, happen in a real life. Trust me, Panda, one day, the same thing that happen in movie is what happen in real life where women inside of lockup get pregnant for officers and then and then the baby born them sending baby girl road or a such thing but in this case now this i wanna go public because you know she is a pregnant for a poly um for a police and she's the baby mother of a politician allegedly people she's pregnant so on hear it over here so first so check your phone screen or your tv screen or whatsoever yeah watch this video on allegedly it is being rumored that philip paul will be a mother murder accused leoda bradshaw is in jail pregnant allegedly by some army police officers understand that people so what i'm trying to say to you guys is that this woman is allegedly pregnant for a police officer and she is the baby mother of philip Paulwell, and she is the one that accused of taking the life of 10 months old saraya Paulwell, and her mother businesswoman tashana patterson yes a very very successful business woman that don't need anything from anyone because she's so successful in her business her business start off and it take off and it's going very well and this wicked satanic woman take her life allegedly because of some old dilly dilly, dilly ding ding ling ding ling because of some old dilly ling dilly ling dilly ling yes i'm as a people take the baby life allegedly and her mother life as well wickedness she's not the only one she have uh, about five co-accused uh, two of them plead guilty and are now serving life sentence of 30 years with 25 years before parole and the other one serving seven years and some months while the rest of them the main people them with them say do the the killing and all of that they are now before but right now with leo the bradshaw because they did not plead guilty just like the rest of them so people want to hear what they go on and upon this channel we keep you posted on that case so you want to subscribe if you're not subscribed to keep up to date with the Leo the Bradshaw case. You understand what I say? Because over here we thought nothing but the truth. And we burn out Leo the Bradshaw for what she allegedly do to baby Saraya and her mother, 29 year old businesswoman, Tashana Pattison. But people stay to thought on that down below in the comment section. And as usual, people, remember to leave a like on this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Also, subscribe if you haven't subscribed as yet. And turn on the post notification bell for new content. Alright? Do you think this woman is pregnant for real people? Let me know down below in the comment section. The PNP has always Hello, understood the assignment. How are you guys? I'm so happy. I am happy. But aside from that... I don't care what a person's political affiliation is. You could be PMP, you could be GLP, but you must know why. And you must understand why you support a specific party. And when voting, you need to vote for purpose, not vote because of clout. That, that, that's it. Do not vote for clout. I cannot understand how a prime minister goes on a national television out of frustration to say he can turn on a switch. And, and, and follow me, you can turn on a switch. Local government elections has happened and we saw that we got popular votes. All right, fine. I'm not sure what the end game is or the end result is fine. But you then went on a live broadcast to state, <laughs> to state that you now know what people in communities want and it is water and you're just knowing that and you think that's the only thing they need 
you are telling me then that you have not been doing the groundwork on a community level. You have not. And then you go on to say that it's going to be done. Don't get tricked. The focus was never you, but they realize that it comes from the root. It comes from the root. So the switch you're turning on, we're going to turn it back off. We have to turn it back off. You're just knowing that you need to revise and reconsider what local government is. Now, if you knew your history of Jamaican politics, you would have known that the PMP has always put emphasis or placed emphasis on community development, institutional developments, on a community level. Where were you? Where were you? I don't like foolishness. I don't like foolishness. This is when you're developing a country and it only benefits the upper echelon of society. I have a problem. I, I genuinely have a problem because I want to know even this economic growth, who has the growth impacted? <laughs> who would that just tell me, right? And on the 26th of February, you have suddenly decided that the people need roads and it's gonna be done and the people stop get tricked. Jamaican people need to stop getting tricked. We need to do roads and we need to do this and we're gonna do it and, and the tax raise and whatever. So you're using these things to get us. Uh, we're not frightened, right? We're not frightened. Do the right thing. You just suddenly realize that you need to restructure and revisit the meaning of local government when you realize who really has the power when democracy came into play and we gave our people a chance to speak. You just realizing that the restructure or the restructuring of local government needs to come into play now when we have already known that as a people's national party that this is important on a community level the country has to be developed on a community level also so who are the people that's going to push this development and growth if the community is not growing with the economy the people are not growing with the economy so who will push this economic growth who will push the workforce you know sister the people that are run away of two terms that you served, you are just realizing this? Enough. Enough.